So what, what happened to the uh, to the prop there? We were driving along and hit something, and the prop came off. And I look at the shaft, and there's no nut on there. So what what happens if we can't uh, can't get this to work right? <laughs> we, <laughs> we just, we are stuck here. So the idea with this is we just build up enough on the back to put a little bit of resistance. But when it's possible to come off as if you as if you hit something and there's a, suddenly a jolt back. So we just gotta put enough to stop that. So how long do you think this uh, this fix will hold for? It depends on our driving. And our luck. If we don't hit anything, it'll last. But if we do hit something, it's coming off. In which case, we're dead in the water. Give that a try. What you could do is uh, just drive it at idle and uh, just be super wary of even, even small stuff. It won't come off unless we do hit something. 80 miles. Six and a half hours. Seven hours maybe. Six to seven. Okay, let's do this. No pressure, big guy. <laughs> if it's gonna come off, it'll come off when it first goes in the water. See, we've just got contemporary all around us. We're just driving over something here. Time to go without a nut on the prop, eh? <laughs> It only takes one of these one of these branches or sticks to knock our prop off. This is the most I've seen actually. Everywhere you look all around there's debris in the water. The hard thing with the debris is a lot of it is some has been in the water for a while, it's very waterlogged and it has a very small surface area above the water. It's really hard to tell. Like you look at something you think it's quite small, then as you get close. Sometimes you'll see, oh, it's actually quite large. 